One of the most seminal videos that I've made in my journey from atheism to diatheism is a video that I titled Just One Proof That There Is No God. Now, of course, you get the inevitable influx of people who simply read the title, think that I claim that I have a proof that there is no God, and then start pestering me or get upset when they realize that there's no such thing forthcoming in that video. No. The video is a response to a challenge by Sami Zatari, who posted a video saying, You atheists, can you provide me just one proof that there is no God? And that is what I was responding to. I was throwing the challenge right back at him, simply replacing the word God, which is just a meaningless three-letter combination to me, with the word glurb, which I knew would be a meaningless letter combination to him, and say, well, before I start giving you one proof that there is no God, why don't you give me one proof that there is no glurb? Of course, Sammy never responded to that. Naturally so, because how could he, when he doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about? But that then leads me into why I am not engaging with people trying to sell me God. Because what are they talking about? They can never come back with something that is coherent or intelligible or makes any sense whatsoever. Of course there are God concepts that are very clearly defined and very easy to understand. Just open the Bible and read what it all says about Yahweh. That's a very simple and understandable God concept. It is obviously also unreal and can be dismissed as a 2000, 6000, whatever year old fairy tale. Not interested. So then what we've got left are the people who try to sell me a God idea that retreats back from the specifics and that becomes more fuzzy, becomes less clear as to what their God concept really is. And the only ones that have ever given me anything that I would consider even remotely plausible or, you know, understandable or coherent are those who are trying to sell me the sort of idea of God as the ultimate transcendent. However, I have to observe that that doesn't make an awful lot of sense. Not so much that it doesn't make an awful lot of sense to talk about an ultimate transcendent and to call that God, but simply pointing out that if you're going to do that, there is already something like that that we can talk about. Let's just call it reality. Reality is the ultimate transcendent. Everything is taking part in reality, and reality exceeds all of us. It goes beyond every individual. It goes further, deeper, longer, bigger, whatever else, than any of us. So even if God is real, then God is itself transcended by reality. So, and if you are then going to try and sell me that the idea that God is the ultimate transcendent, then you're basically equating God to reality. But what is even more important is the realization that it is therefore unnecessary for you to try to sell me this idea. At all. There is no need for you to try to convince me that God then is real, because reality, of course, is real. But also, everybody's relationship with reality is undeniable, inexorable, and unalienable. There is no separation possible from reality. You cannot get out of reality, away from reality, separated from reality, be somewhere in a state where you are without reality. All these things that people are trying to convince you are the fate that awaits you if you do not worship or believe in God are impossible if God is the ultimate transcendent. So therefore, it is not really worth my while 
entering into any dialogue with somebody who tries to tell me a god that is as fuzzy as that. So if that is the only god concept that is even possible to be rescued, after all the specifics are being denied and rejected, then that is something that I do not need to concern myself with, that you do not need to concern yourself with. There is no hell separated from God in that instance. There is nothing to be gained from me accepting your belief system in that case. The only reason that I can imagine why somebody would want me to accept their God belief on the basis of a God that fuzzy is for some sort of personal gain, for some sort of personal power game being put in place that somehow they consider themselves to be a higher authority on the subject of this God, authority that I should somehow defer to in my ideas about God. And I'm afraid that that is never going to happen.